Hello, my name is Federico Ortiz and my contribution to the LFA 30 objects in 30 days is the drinking water fountain. By the early 19th century, London's water supply was mostly in the hands of private companies, but with increasing health and sanitation problems that led to several cholera epidemics, the Victorians decided to act. The first drinking water fountain was installed in 1859 by the newly formed Metropolitan Free Drinking Fountain Association, and you can still find it here outside St. Sepulchre's Church in Snow Hill in the city of London. You can even still see the metal cups attached to it, but there is no running water. I'll come back to this. The association later started to supply water even for animals, and that's why you might be able to spot a few remaining cattle thrusts across London. Drinking water fountains quickly became popular and went from small to medium, like this one near Old Street Roundabout, to large, beautiful ones like this one in Victoria Park. Architects were commissioned to build long-lasting public amenities for all. Attitudes changed in the 20th century and with the invention of the plastic bottle in 1973, drinking water fountains started to be forgotten. But today, in the midst of an environmental crisis, drinking water fountains are back. Plastic water bottles are one of the most common items of plastic litter found in the River Thames. Which is no wonder, the average Londoner uses 175 single-use plastic water bottles every year. So the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has partnered with Thames Water to install a network of more than 100 drinking water fountains in busy and accessible areas of London in order to reduce the number of single-use plastic water bottles used in the capital and provide free access to healthy tap water. And the change has been already incredible. For example, two of the fountains in Liverpool Street Station dispense 8,000 litres of drinking water the equivalent of 16,000 water bottles in less than one month. But with COVID, things changed again. Even though coronavirus is not a waterborne virus and that the risk of catching it from public drinking fountains is very low, drinking water fountains have been temporarily closed. Hopefully, when things start to reopen, drinking water fountains will run again. By providing free access to clean, drinkable water, these pieces of street furniture make public spaces more accessible, welcoming and open for all. So cheers to more drinking water fountains.